Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market. If this is one of your first times viewing one of these videos, uh, welcome, and I certainly hope you enjoy the video that I'm about to uh, share with you here. Uh, but again, like I said, welcome, and uh, thanks for taking a minute to view the video. Uh, as always, you know, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only, and should not be construed as investment advice. And also, I want to take a quick minute to apologize for my voice. It is a little, uh, I guess, under the weather, so to speak. I've got a little, a little bit of laryngitis here. I was teaching over the weekend to a group of traders, and uh, seem to have lost a little bit of my voice. So uh, bear with me there, if you will. But in any case, what I wanted to do today is really follow up to the video from last week. Last week, I, I shared my thoughts on the euro US dollar with everyone saying how, you know, I, I was of the mindset that it was offering a pretty good short opportunity, not just for the next couple of days, but maybe even the next couple of weeks. And I still feel that that is true. And I wanted to, as I said, follow up on that. So, you know, when I made the video last week, and you can go and check that out as well, you know, we were looking at the euro us dollar as it was situated here it had just broken down a little bit was going sideways and so you know put out the video saying i think it's going lower and um, i had i had several reasons for it you know a lot of it came to what the larger time frames were looking like i'm not going to rehash it all you can go and do that uh, on your own time and look at that prior video but basically here we are now we had the nice initial follow through broke under that pivot low by a little bit we're below these moving averages and you know at this point while we do have this pivot low two hour left it's you know it's a couple months away here now it's not nearly as significant so i still believe that we're headed lower and so far starting this week off you know that's exactly what's happening so this is a daily chart looks like all we need to do is break under last week's bottoming tail there and uh, we should continue to see momentum pushing us lower so the question is okay well lower to where right and bigger picture longer term i mean we we could easily be headed back down towards this 1.0802 area there's no reason why we can't come back down to that low in in the shorter term you know we'll probably get a nice drop maybe we come into this prior area just under the the uh, 108 level and then we could get a little bit of a bounce or so and then you know we'll see where we go from there and just continue to monitor and analyze the trend but you know a lot of it comes down to what is your bias what is the time frame of choice and how are you going to manage a position uh, though those are a lot of the factors that you need to consider because it's one thing to say okay well yeah i think price can come down to this 108 area maybe even a little bit lower but does that necessarily mean that your management style is such that it'll allow you to to take advantage of that full move and you know that that also depends on the volatility of the move and some other factors as well but Part, part of the battle is at least just having the right bias, the right frame of mind and the right targets so that you at least know what to be looking for. You know, then it's just a matter of finding a way to get on board. So right now, as I said, the daily chart here tells me to be looking lower. We've got this breakout failure. You know, some might look at this and not really a head and shoulders top, but you can see here it broke out, came back down. Now it's breaking under that support. So bearish bias overall. And if we look at the uh, the hourly chart, you know, you see a nice drop here, sideways consolidation, tried to move up, failed. Now we're coming back down. So from an hourly point of view, what I'll be watching for here is to see, do we pause? Do we get a little bit of a pause, maybe even a little attempt to move up that fails? And if so, I'd be looking to play that short. Honestly, probably would have been nice to have gotten in on the break under these lows right here and be in this trade already, but uh, I'm not. And so, like I said, that that's what I'd be looking for, some failure to hold this prior low 
because the larger time frame is suggesting weakness. So uh, that that's what I'm going to be looking for, among other things, to do this coming week. It does look overall like um, like we could be seeing weakness across the board uh, and some strength coming into the dollar. Uh, so and that and that's just based on the trend of of various pairs you know looking at new zealand dollar us dollar for example is one that looks like it also could continue to weaken in fact i was also short uh pound us dollar going back to friday i actually got out of it or or i was taken out of the trade uh, earlier this morning when when it started to pop back up so i'm no longer in it but did have a nice trade going back to uh friday morning on that, you know, rode it all the way down and got some some nice movement there. But anyway, that's the bias here for today is looking to get short euro US dollar. As I said, the daily looks weak. And if you want some further insight or thoughts as to why I am bearish on this longer term as well, as I said, go back and check out last week's video and uh, and you can see it there. But in the meantime, I want to also encourage you to check out pristine.com you can see a list of free upcoming webinars in fact i've got one coming up uh this week talking about forex so like i said check out pristine.com you can see our full list of webinars on the right hand side hopefully i'll see you there otherwise if not i'll talk to you in the next video um, but in the meantime as i always say stay patient stay disciplined and stay confident we'll talk to you soon